The state has maintained that it will reintroduce the Industrial Development Corporation in the core because the move will sustain economic development. Commerce Minister Emmanuel Chenda says 10 million kwacha privatization trust fund, which will help the operations of Indeco, has already been secured. Mr. Chenda says government plans to revive Indeco in the first quarter of the year, further assuring Zambians that an enabling environment to be created for the private sector to compete favorably. The, the, the startup capital is estimated at 10 million in kwacha, and uh, these funds will come from privatization trust fund. Okay. You're not saying by participating in the economy, we're closing out or closing out the, 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 the private sector. No, on the contrary, we are taking some reform measures uh, uh, to, to ease the cost of doing business in the country to ensure that the, the, the private sector uh, continue to play their role. So in downplaying concerns being raised by stakeholders on Indeco, the Commerce Minister said the idea is working effectively in many international countries. So it's, a, it's a concept that uh, has been very well considered and, uh, and uh, people should trust us. You know, we mean well for this government um, and the intention behind it is good. It's going to be good for this country, it's going to be good for the economy of this country, it's going to be good for the people of this country. After all, I must say here that <clears throat> this is one of the best practices that uh, we are trying to adopt from developing countries that uh, have used this concept and have successfully um, uh, increased their wealth in their countries. Republican President Michael Sata has stated that Indeco will lead to modernization, diversification of the economy, wealth and prosperity for Zambians. But some people with divergent views say resuscitating the defunct Indeco would mean shrinking the private sector's contribution to economic growth. Other concerns are that the creation of parasito body might be contrary to the liberalized economic policies that Zambia has been implementing. Others argue that the creation of Indeco will be a drawback for many development partners and other majority of the citizens. With the final stance taken by government on Indeco, Zambians will have to wait and see the outcome of the move. Grace McConnell Winda, Movie TV Business News, Inusaka.